Hello everyone. Um, we're gonna be doing gonna be doing rotated uh picture. So we're gonna rotate a picture using a command using pillow. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Well, it's kind of not simple, but if you if you're familiar with pillow, it should be uh quite fast for you to catch on and say hey. Oh, huh, that's how it, that's how it works. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, uh, gonna use client.sys to make our request. This is just a lazy way of um attaching a client session onto the client for your bot. But hey, if it works, it works. That's my motto. So let's get into it. Um, of course, we need to make a request. So we're going to start off with async with client.sys.get. Of course, you could create a new instance of AOHTTP of an AOHTTP client session every single time, but uh, we we are lazy here. We're smart here. We code smart here. So we're going to pass some URL and we're going to do R. Uh, just think of R as the request. No, not the request, uh, the, the response. Uh, so you think of R as the response. And you do if r.status. Well, uh, in request, this would be status code, which is more accurate. <laughs> but uh, so if the status code is, is in the range, in the range of, in range 200, 299. So anything between these two values over here. Um, including these values themselves, we're gonna do this set of act, this set of actions. Uh, of course, you need to import all of these. Uh, this comes with Python, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. If you wanna uh, install Pillow and AOHTTP, it's like this. PIP install. Hold on. PIP install AOHTTP. PIP install pillow. It's very easy. Don't don't confuse yourself and think that it's some crazy thing. So yeah, once you do that, just import these bad boys over here, and uh, we'll be able to do the commands. All of these. I'm assuming that you have Discord, <laughs> obviously. Um and yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and do. Uh, image equals image. No, image equals image uh, open open bytes io. I'm gonna do await r dot read because we want to read the contents of the of the URL, which means through this we'll, we're going to be able to open up the image that comes from the url so um we're going to do mode equals r. so once we have the contents over here we want to read it using pillow so that so that it actually turns into a pillow image um i'm assuming that's what's happening over here but correct me if i'm wrong of course Anyways, we're gonna do image underscore rotated. So basically, this is the rot. Any everything after this is the um, returns a rotated image, and we're gonna use this variable to store that, and later on use the variable. So um, let's do image dot rotate. Um, we already have the command. You have these arguments over here called URL. Okay, so the, the the person passes in a URL as well as degrees that they want uh, the picture to be flipped over to turned to whatever in a counterclockwise direction. So yeah, it goes counterclockwise. So um, we're not gonna set a value like forty five. We're gonna actually put something. So angle equals. Uh, we're gonna set the degrees for the angle equals degrees. Now I'm going to save this rotated image and uh, post it onto the discord chat and we're going to do, do it uh, by this. 
like this. So image dot rotated dot save. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Make a variable called b equals bytes io. Wait, we have already. Uh, well, just in case, we're gonna pass in b format equals yeah we want to actually get the value of it anyway so we do need to uh, make that variable and we're gonna do uh, image dot format this has failed me before and I think it should work so let's set the format to whatever the user wishes um, if it is a webp image I think it might not work though but maybe I'm wrong I don't know but I've never uh okay let, let's just let's just do this <laughs> bytes image so b underscore image bytes image uh, b dot get value so we're gonna get the bytes of the image now we're gonna create a variable called file equals to score dot file this is basically what we're gonna output to the chat uh, we're gonna do file name equals well let's just do rotated dot image dot uh, image dot what image dot format uh, close it off with another curly brackets and we're gonna set the uh, we're gonna set the FP which is the actual image in this case we're gonna pass in bytes to it so what we're doing here is setting the file name of it and we're also going, going to pass in the image that we want. Um, we're going to pass in uh, b underscore image inside of here. And let's see how this uh, plays out for us. I'm going to also create an embed. I'll teach you a little trick while I'm at it. Um, embed dot set image URL equals attachment slash slash rotated. Let's turn this into an F string and uh, just copy this bad boy. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, gonna send this to chat. Embed equals embed. File equals file. And there we go. Uh, once these two are correctly synchronized, um, doing file the file equals file will automatically put the file into the embed image as an attachment, as you can see here. So yeah, that's a little trick that I use. Uh, very useful of course uh, we have a little no well, it's not an error let's let's see what uh huh I don't know what it changed but it changed something we're we gonna say this bad boy we're gonna do Python test.py uh, let's see how this rolls out also, we want to send an image. We want to send a. In case uh, this condition is not met, we want to actually send something. So we're gonna send await oh, ctx send. Um. F string. Error occurred when trying trying to make request um gonna give the response this is very useful for developers because they want to know what 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 what, what were, went wrong uh, sorry for my stuttering there r dot status and yeah uh, we also have another error problem Unexpen 
unexpected event okay that's okay that that's kind of weird but <laughs> uh, let's let's close this oh it's already online hold on let's close it off python main that pi well, python test.py well, I'm, I'm just used to using main.py i'm sure i'm sure a lot of people can uh, relate to that let's open up discord um of course you do need to wait you don't need to what am i saying <laughs> if you want to you can join the server in case you have any errors or things like that um you can also uh come here and give help honestly I'm, the more the merrier when it comes to help helpers honestly um anyway um let's go ahead and do exclamation mark rotate let's do food bots um food bots food bots image uh it's this is my bot it's pretty shit not gonna lie i have to really uh update it and fix it up and stuff like that so uh, i'll have to do that uh, later on but let's rotate the image rotate uh, and we'll do like 1a why not just to test things off so uh, there we go actually and as you can see from the image it's png by using the thing we actually we keep the user's preference when it comes to images and we uh the the image stays as a png so yeah um that's why i used image.format here so um that's about it for the rotate command more will be coming when it comes to pillow so you know stay tuned for that if you're interested in learning more about images and data science and all that fun stuff so uh yeah Uh, end of video <laughs> again join the discord